Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to talk to you about smart objects. So smart objects are used all over the place on our website and in our packs, including in some of the free downloads. And by far the most common question that I get asked is always relating to smart objects, usually for this mock-up here, the free vinyl mock-up. So that's what I'm going to cover today. We released this when the Instagram reached 50,000 followers back when uh, Instagram was actually good. This is just to get you started using smart objects in your own work or just understanding smart objects in something you might have downloaded from me or elsewhere. So if you go to studiotriplea.com, uh, go to the free section like I just did and just scroll down and get the free vinyl mock-up. That's what I'm going to use here. When you download it, this is the PSD file that you'll get. When you open it, if you've never used smart objects before, it can be a bit confusing because it's fully editable as it and it says it's fully editable on the website but you only get four layers so the sleeve a little shadow disc and then this little paper lip texture and then just a color fill background layer 99% of the time all that people need to know about smart objects to start using them very easily is just that you double click on the layer to open the document make the changes that you want to make and then you go file and save to sync those changes back with the original PSD so if I remove these layers here and if I just literally do file save, close the document, go back and the changes have synced across to the actual mock-up. Same goes for the disc. If you just go in here, hide all the stuff that I made, feel free if you're working along here to just pause it and add your own design or pull in a render or a stock photo and then just do file save. Close the document, go back and it's there. It's still exact same layer as it was before you can still move it and and edit it in here but that is the basics on editing most mock-ups or most mock-ups you'll find on our website now if you're experienced with photoshop you probably already know what all this means it means that you can edit things non-destructively uh, you don't have to sort of ruin an image or a layer to add effects or, or anything like that. But a good way to illustrate the difference between destructive editing and editing using a smart object is with text layers. Uh, I've literally just got two normal text layers here. One of them I'm gonna make a smart object and the other one I'm just gonna edit normally. So with the smart object, if we just go distort, shear, I'm just gonna add a load of random effects. And then if I go do all the same stuff again here, zigzag, wave, whatever, same kind of effect. The difference is now with the destructive layer, you are just left with basically like a PNG of the text. Whereas with the smart object, it has its own PSD file now. So I can go back in here, change it to say whatever I want, save it again, exit and come back and the text is synced up. You can go back and you can change the font, save it, and again, the, the same effect is applied. This can be especially useful when you are dealing with things like displacement or effects that are really specific. So this is just a demo image I made for a product that came out last week. But let's say I wanted to get this specific text effect on a commission. Uh, I've got the smart object, so I can just go and change it to say whatever, save it, exit, and come back and it's changed. So the best ways to use smart objects in your own work are to make it so that when you're working on things, if it's for a client or if it's for a project that is changing a lot, if it's a commission where you know you're going to be asked for a lot of changes, use smart objects for everything so that when you are going through and being asked for ridiculous changes, it's easy for you to just go back and make little edits. Um, this is just me demoing that you can drag and drop your artwork. Onto the vinyl sleeve really easily with basically no work on the actual texture. Everything's still intact. You can still edit it all. It all still works, um, you've not lost anything. The main reason I've made this video is so that I can now send this to people when they ask me about smart objects. So I hope this helped. If you have any other questions about smart objects, uh, you can put them in a comment or if it's about something specific to my website or a product I've made, uh, you can just send an email or fill out the form at the bottom of the site. As always, if you want to keep up with things like the free vinyl mock-up or anything we do in the future that's free, put your email in that box there and we'll email you every time there is something worth mentioning like all this free stuff here if you do use the mock-up by the way uh, tag me in whatever you make on instagram because i love seeing that stuff i hope this helped and thanks for watching